Hello, elementary school students across America and on United States military bases around the world. It's time that once again for Michael T. Mondak Reads with yours truly, the eponymous Michael T. Mondak, back with you on a Thursday, today virtually coming to you from Pittsburgh's PPG Paints Arena to read one picture book to you, your parents, and your teachers. But I can't do it without a preview as to what I'll be reading. Here it is for this Thursday. We all have our differences, and that's good. We learn about them. Well, Harry and her, his friends ended up in, in a treehouse, and Elma wanted to join in, but they wouldn't allow it, but one of those three couldn't stop thinking about it. And that's when the, the one of uh, the another's mind was changed. It's part of the storyline called No Red Monsters Allowed, storyline by Miss Liza Alexander and illustrations by David Prabena. Let's go. Hazel Monster called her friend Harry on the phone. When she answered, she said, Hello, Harry. Do you want to come and play in my new treehouse? I built it all by myself. You bet, said Harry. Hannah Monster is here visiting. Can she come too? Of course, said Hazel. Excellent. Harry and Hannah looked just like Hazel. All three of them were blue and furry. They all had purple noses. When Harry and Hannah arrived, Hazel's mother made a snack for the blue monsters. Scrumptious, said Hannah between chomps. This is the same snack that my mother gave me, gives me. Yeah, said Harry, slurping down his glass of carrot juice. Celery and crunchy monster butter is the best. Thank you, Mrs. Monster. Come on, Harry. Come on, Hannah, said Hazel. Let's go to my tree. The three fuzzy blue monsters scrambled up the ladder to Hazel's treehouse. First, they played jacks. Next, Hazel, Harry, and Hannah shot marbles. Later, while the monsters were playing cards, Elmo came up. Wow, a tree house, Elmo said. Hazel? Elmo wants to climb up and play. Hazel looked down. Away, she said. No red monsters allowed. <laughs> Elmo blushed a deeper red. He slumped to the ground. Why can't Elmo go up into Hazel's tree house? Wondered Elmo. Elmo can play. Up in the treehouse, Hazel said, Come on, everybody, let's play cards. The blue monsters picked up their cards. Harry could not concentrate. He was thinking about Elmo. So was Hannah. Hannah felt like she might cry. Then Harry spoke up. Hazel, why can't Elmo play with us? Yeah, why not, said Hannah in a little voice. We like Elmo. He can't because it's my treehouse and I say so, said Hazel. No red monsters allowed. But why not, asked Harry. Elmo is fun. Hazel thought for a moment. Elmo can't come up and play because he's red and we're blue. Elmo is different. So what, Harry said, Harry. Red is good. Blue is good. Different is good. Hazel thought for another moment. She liked Harry. Harry was usually right about things. Hazel leaned out of the treehouse. Elmo, she called. I changed my mind. Climb on up. Yay, said Hannah. Elmo jumped up. Yippee, red monsters are allowed. Up the ladder he went. Elmo, 
You know how to play Tilly Wings, asked Hazel. No, said Elmo, but Elmo can learn. Sure, said Hannah. Watch us first, and then you can play when you know how. Uncle Dunkle, said Elmo. Elmo learned Tiddly Winks right away. Even Hazel saw how much fun it was to play with both blue and red monsters. Now Elmo will teach you a game, said Elmo. It's called Imagine Animals. You try to guess what animal Elmo is. Here we go. Elmo leaned over, held his hands together, and swung his arms from side to side beneath his nose. Then he lumbered across the floor. Oh, elephant, shouted Hannah. Excellent, Aza laughed, and she and Harry clapped and cheered. What animal am I? Hazel stood on her tiptoes and stretched her whole body upwards so she seemed much taller. Then she held one arm up above her head and opened and shut her hand like a mouth. Alligator, said Harry. <laughs> no, silly, Hazel. Look, I mean leaves. Munch, munch, munch. Horse, said Hannah. No, no, said Hazel. Don't you get it? I'm very tall. Elmo knows the answer, said Elmo. Hazel is a giraffe. That is right, Elmo, said Hazel. And she was so excited that she gave Elmo a big hug. I like this game, said Hazel. It's different. You guys hungry? asked Elmo. Yes, said all the blue monsters at once. Let's go to my house for a snack, said Elmo. All the monsters clambered down the ladder and over to Elmo's house. Hello, kids, said Elmo's red furry monster mother. Welcome. Hazel looked around. Your house is different from ours, she said. Then she quickly added, but your house is nice, too. Thank you, dear, said Elmo's mother. She spooned fruit salad in the four little bowls. Where are these green fruits with all the seeds, asked Terry. Kiwis, said Elmo. Yum, yum. Our mothers always give us vegetables for a snack, said Hazel. Come on, Hazel, said Harry. Just try it. I'm going to. Yes, kids, do have a taste, said Owen's mother. My mother gave me kiwis when I was little. Our whole family loves them. But if you don't like kiwis, Hazel, dear, you don't have to eat them. Harry and Hannah and Hazel all took bites. Hannah and Hazel both said, Delicious. You, said Harry. Excuse me. Sorry, but I don't think I like kiwis. Everybody laughed. It's all right, said Elmo's mother. You tried them. That's what's important. Then it's time to go. Goodbye, and thank you, Elmo and Mrs. Monster, said Hannah. Thank you very much, said Harry. You're welcome, said Elmo's mother. Could Elmo come over to my house tomorrow, Mrs. Monster, asked Hazel. Would you like that, Elmo, asked his mother. Oh, yes, Elmo would like that very much, said Elmo. Can we play in your treehouse, Hazel? Sure we can, said Hazel. Excellent. Bye now. Bye, Hazel. Bye, everybody, called Elmo. And he and his mother waved bye-bye. And that, boys and girls, is where the story comes to the conclusion. I'll be back with you on Friday at the same time and the same channel. And virtually from PPG Paints Arena in Pittsburgh. Bye-bye for now.